everyone, my name is Amy Cudmore and I work for Student Life at Broward North. I'm so excited to be with you today. We're going to work on just being present and in the moment. I really want to encourage you to breathe today. I'm not going to be real picky about how do you breathe. I just want you to breathe. It will help you breathe in the good. Exhale any bad and negative feelings you're feeling. So we're gonna take care of our spine today. We're gonna to take care of our hips, our lower back, our quadriceps, hamstrings, gastrocnemius muscles, and soleus muscles. Are you ready? Okay, so sit comfortably and notice you can do it at home. I've used a towel today just to show you you need a bit of a soft surface under you. If you need two towels, that's fine. Or if you have a yoga mat, I encourage you to put that down as well. Okay. Relax your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, and relax. I'm just going to do a few rounds of breath, breathing in. With every inhale, I want you to feel your rib cage expand, expand as you inhale. And then deep exhale as you pull your ribs together, your fingers lace to illustrate your ribs pulling close together as you exhale. center. Let's reset our shoulders. When we're working at our computers all day doing our online classes, we tend to round, slump, shrug. Let's do exactly the opposite. Inhale, sit up tall, retract the shoulders. Drawing a circle at the top of your shoulder. And relax, come to neutral, little bounces. Let's change the front leg. As you breathe, tip your ear, one shoulder. center and then one more the opposite way and come center good retract those shoulders we're going to change our position in our first session this is Luna by the way 
She's just saying hello. You're gonna come to the center of your towel or mat. We learned neutral spine is a nice flat back from crown of head to the tip of your tailbone, your whole entire spine. We're gonna inhale to cow, tipping the crown of your head and glutes to the sky. And exhale, rounding your spine, starting from the bottom, the tailbone, all the way up to tuck your chin to cat. Let's move through this with a breath. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. And breathe. to neutral spine. You're going to lower your hips to the heels, forehead to the mat or your towel, hands above your head for a brief rest in child pose and breathe. Check your alignment. Hand is completely open, pressing each fingerprint into the mat. Wrist under elbow, under shoulder. Hips over knees, knees in line with ankles. We're going to work on spinal extension. When we sit, we compress our spine, so we want to open it. Each bone of your vertebrae lengthening. Release your left hand and right foot. Stabilize your right hand. Breathe in. Reach and hold from the fingertip to the toes. Now you want to draw your navel in. Reach, reach. Now breathe. Lower. Drawing the navel to the spine, exhale and lift and hold. This requires balance. And now let's move with our breath. Inhale to lower hand and foot, exhale to lift and reach. more 
to hold. Here we go. And reach and hold. You can cast your gaze just slightly ahead, maybe at the top of your mat. It helps with balance. Place your hand and knee, hips to heels for a brief rest. Breathing as you press the hips down.
halfway down to our lower. Good. At any time, if you need a drink, please just put me on pause. Get a drink, and then you can press play again, and pick right up where we leave off. Okay, we're gonna move to our next sequence. This will target our hip flexors, quadriceps, hip flexors are right here, quadriceps, hamstrings, gastrocnemius, which right here, and your soleus, the small part of your calf muscles, there's two of them, okay? And then we'll stretch out our lower back, continue to breathe, and hopefully when we're done, you've relaxed and released any tension in your mind and your body. All right, let's prepare. You're gonna float out onto all fours. We're gonna start on the left side. You're gonna step your left foot through and slide your right leg back. Right away, you should feel a stretch in your right hip flexors, ankle under your knee, knee in line with your hip, okay? We're gonna start breathing. We're gonna move into pigeon. You wanna bend the front knee, palm the mat. You're gonna slide the back leg all the way down, uncurl your toes to rest, then slide this front foot, the left foot, across right behind your right wrist. This is pigeon. Sit up nice and tall. You want both of your hip bones reaching down to the earth, okay? Now, if you're accustomed to doing this move, you can come down on your forearms, if that's comfortable, or you can take it all the way down, resting your forehead on the mat, reaching above your head, bringing your hands together in prayer, and breathing. This is 
for your hip flexors on the front leg and the back leg. Remember, don't hang your head like this. Your head is very heavy. It puts a lot of stress on your cervical spine. Imagine you have a straight line from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Beautiful. Let's come out of this safely. They love to say hello. Palm the mat. A little bit of agility here. Come up on the back toes and reach back into plank. Knees lower, hips to heels for a brief rest in child pose. And then we'll move to the other side. together. Bend the front leg, palm the mat. Slide the back leg all the way down and curl the toes. Then your foot slides across the mat behind your left wrist. For your hip flexors. Now remember, on the other side, once you're comfortable, we went here. Try that. Head in line with the spine. Don't hang the head. No, don't do that. Then reach forehead to mat if that's comfortable in the hip area.
hands. Remember to not hang your head. Head in line with spine, pressing those hips down. You don't want to be open like this either. We call this close hips. Just retract the shoulders. Make sure there's no tension in your shoulders, your neck, your jaw. Beautiful. Big breath in. This is our cleansing breath. Inhale all the way till your hands come together in prayer. Exhale all the way till you lower your hands to heart center. All the way. There's more air in those lungs. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have several more sessions to keep right up with your online learning. Be safe, stay healthy, and stay connected. Breathe.